Hey guys, it's Matt over here in sunny Spain and it's cold today. Uh, one of the things I will say about living where we are is getting these older houses, as Andreas pointed out the other day, is that before 2007, most didn't have any insulation. Um, so it's cold, but not freezing. As you can see, I'm still in my t-shirt, but I'm sure in the UK, <laughs> I'm sure in the UK they're feeling a lot more than we are. Um, but I've been quite busy lately, in all honesty. I've got a lot of stuff going on um, business-wise, which is keeping me fully um, motivated, along with the fact that, like today, I'm just waiting for my son to get ready and we're off to go and buy a birthday present for his friend Mario because then uh, they've got a party coming up this afternoon. Um, one of the other things I wanted to push this video for was the fact is I've lost a lot of my emails. Um, with that HostGator crash, um, I lost a lot of my emails because when they regenerated, when I started the them back up, it lost a lot of the data. So if you have emailed me and got zero response, it's probably because I never received the email or I don't have the email anymore. So that's just a bit of uh, information for everybody there. Nothing I can do about it. It's just the, I'm trying not to say bad words. It's just the way this uh, company operates. Uh, I'm not happy with them, but I'm stuck with them for another year. So I can't do a lot about it. But we live and learn. We live and learn. Trust is something you should never give lightly. That's one of the things for sure. I should have had my servers with them backed up. and I, They do have an older version, but I'm talking three years ago for a lot of my websites and stuff because quite simply I've been too busy to even bother backing stuff up. Plus, a lot of stuff has moved on. Um, what else has been going on? Well, I, you probably noticed I'm not spending much time on the Philippines stuff lately. Uh, quite simply, I don't have the time. Um, I've got a lot of stuff going on. Here in Spain, there's a lot of stuff going on that's developing and I'm just waiting to the end of this month because I should be able to show you some more stuff uh, going forward from there. I uh, just had a contract come out of the UK that want me on the 20th of this month, uh, which ain't gonna happen, but we'll wait and see because a lot of them go, we'll have you on the 20th and then they get delays and then go, uh, can we delay it a month? Which is pretty normal in the business I do. Um, what else has been going on? What else? Yeah, I mean, the house is looking a lot better now. It's, it's halfway there. April's gone around and sealed all the windows as well for the winter, except for this one, which is my office one. Uh, but the rest of them, she's sealed them all because the double glazing is terrible. Um, I don't know what company fitted it, but maybe been their first project. <laughs> um, I know once we buy this place, I'm going to be spending a lot of money in here. Um, the kitchen's coming out, the plumbing's coming out, the electrics are coming out, the solar water heat is going in, and I'm going to do something I don't, I haven't seen anybody else do, but it was just an idea I had, um, is to use the solar hot water system for radiators as well as hot water in the house. You separate the, the system out. Um, I'll have to have a look at it, because I may need to have two systems, one for the, the heating and one for the hot water in the house, purely because of the water circulating, if it picks up any rubbish in the, the pipework. But even if I just ran pipework through the floors or whatever, it would actually help heat the house. So I'm gonna have a look at it. It's, it's one of those ideas that is still an idea at the minute, but I haven't seen anybody doing it, but I'm sure there must be something out there already. Um, but one of the big costs over the winter is the heating because well, like here, we haven't got a coal fire or a pellet fire or whatever. We use electric and obviously electric burns money like no tomorrow with electric fires and stuff. So right now we've got several heaters on. There's a oil filled radiator between my feet at the moment, keep my feet warm. But it's one of those expenses that you find this time of year, because actually the most expensive time of year, because in the summertime, we don't really need air con. Um, so it's only, this end of the year period that's a problem. The other one, which is a bit of a warning for you guys with Spain, is be very, very careful with internet providers that will give you free mobile phone sims and stuff. Because 
like Orange, they failed to install the the internet and are now telling me I should keep my contract for the mobile phones, which I never wanted in the first place. Uh, the funny thing is, I gave the mobile phone sims back two weeks ago, but I'm getting the email update. Oh, you've still got to pay this contract. You can get stuffed. Um, and I noticed somebody else had exactly the same problem in car four when I took the routers back. They were complaining, you're still billing me. And they're like, oh, you've got a two-year contract for that. But I haven't even got your sims. I haven't even got your, your internet. You told me you could install cable, and you couldn't. Um because the, the area was wrong. And this is the problem here, is once you're locked into this thing, they're real twats and you're trying to get back out of them. Really yeah. annoying. Um, but I'm gonna go over and see the guy. I'm actually seeing today, he might be in on Sunday. I'll have a look. Because he's quite helpful. He knows how useless these companies are. A lot of it is because they're monopolies in the first place. Um, but one thing I'm not paying is a mobile phone bill for 12 months, purely because they messed up their ability to actually install the internet because I didn't want a mobile phone bill in uh, mobile phone in the first place I don't I mean my mobile phone here is actually on a UK number equals is on the Spanish number because I don't need it um, I just don't I don't dial people on Spanish they, they dial me on whatsapp anyway M majority of people use whatsapp so what would be the point of having a Spanish phone that nobody ever calls anyway because it can do it for free through whatsapp because I just use the data load out the UK Yes, yes, we know that feeling of dealing with these companies. Um, but yeah, it's sort of getting into that Christmas mood now. I just need to generate some cash this month. Then I'll probably take a month out. Um, I've got some business stuff coming up, but that will be my primary focus. Uh, but doing like videos this on the weekend, I'll probably be doing less and less um, of these. Um, during the weekend doesn't mean I'm gonna stop doing them during the week it's just a case of right now um, I've got a lot of stuff on the business side but weekends are now becoming family time like Saturday me and my son went out cycling uh, today Obi, Obi's got a birthday party but we're now doing going to the park on a Sunday as well every week um, and once this van is replaced with a another vehicle We'll actually be traveling around a bit more so there'll be videos of out and about but like dealing with conversations on comments and stuff i probably ain't going to do as much as i used to um also if you want any help on spain don't just send me emails saying tell me what the process is for this that and the other i don't i won't respond to it um i help people i am not the citizens advice bureau um i'm not paid to sit there and give you all the links for every website and everything you need that are constantly changing a lot i mean like the forms this week april did uh, a couple of our friends nies for them the forms actually new they've changed the form since i did it and this is the thing they update things constantly i can keep up to date with it but you are not paying me to be your advisor on that so i quite happily share stuff in these videos but sending me a message going Tell me how I need to fill this form in. Where do I get this from? Where do I get that from? I ain't going to help you because you started off on the wrong foot. First thing is, I don't work for you. What you should have actually said, hi, Matt, I watch your channel. Um, I'm trying to get move over to Spain or I don't know how to do the NIE process and I could probably help you from there. But turn around and go, where is this? What's that? And I, I'm not interested. Um, if you can't put the effort in, why should I? Simple as that. Um, I know I sound quite, quite blunt, but I get up to 150 emails a day. Uh, it's the same if you want to rent a property. If you want to rent, be serious about it. I mean, that's a guy yesterday, uh, sorry, last week from the Netherlands. Um, he was, I mean, I wasn't really that interested in the sense that he was trying to push the price down to silly, silly price. I'm like, just move to the next town, it's cheaper. I'm not giving you the price of this town because the one next door is cheaper because the one next door is not at the same level uh, it's it's a bit like saying um what would be like living in a slum asking for the the price of a slum living in a brand new condo the equivalent of the philippines or probably most places um and then saying yeah but it's, it's cheaper over there it's like yeah because that's the slum it's it's that sort of 
comparison, you know, it's a lot cheaper. But then he's like, oh, yeah, I'm interested. I'll turn up, da, da, da. So uh, I waited for him, got nothing, messaged him and said, oh, yeah, I found somewhere that's cheaper where I am there that I'm waiting for. So just mess with me if you do that stuff. Because next time you message me, I'll give you the same treatment. I'll just blank you. Um, communication is an important thing. It doesn't take long to send a message to somebody. And I've got to admit, in business, it's very, very common for people to ask me, hi, hi, Matt. Um, I need this, this, and this. And it's like, okay, and then this is what you need to be doing. And then a week later, I'll go, hi, how's, how's it going? You might get blanked. And you know, I'm like, okay, I remember that. Next time you need some help again, um, you just go, I'm too busy. And people are like, oh, what, what do you mean? It's like, well, you only get in touch when you want something. If you can't be bothered to put the same effort I do in, don't bother, you know. We are here to help each other. It's a community thing. It's not all one-sided. Doing these videos, I mean, I know some people assume I must be making lots of money off YouTube on, on these videos. I don't. It's actually not worth my time doing these videos financially. Um, I do them because it helps people get an understanding of things that are going on, where to live, all this sort of stuff. Even with the arguments people have about the cost of living in countries, and the comparisons they make, the difference is you have the ability to communicate to each other through the platform. It's like with the Philippines, some people say they can live on $300 a month, others need 2000 Their living standards are completely different. The way of life is completely different. One person may be living in a one-bedroom house, the other is living in a, a compound with the equivalent of an eight-bedroom house. They're completely different. But the point is, like most things, they're possible. It's depending if it's what suits you, which is the whole message here. Not everything suits everybody. It's not supposed to. Not everybody does the same thing. How boring would life be if everything was just so pre-planned that way and everybody liked jazz or whatever? Um, let's have a bit of variety in there. Um, that's why some people get conflicted on this stuff. I'm just like, okay, that's fine. You can live on $300 a month, that's fine. I couldn't live on $300 a month. I could, but it wouldn't be comfortable for me. I wouldn't enjoy living on $300 a month. I enjoy going out. I enjoy going to restaurants. I enjoy driving around. And right now, once this van's replaced with something a bit more reliable, I will enjoy traveling around Spain a bit more. Um, that's the reality. You know, it's all about what you have is your quality of life. And it doesn't mean one's right and one's wrong. What it means is it's what makes you happy. Because if you're happy, it doesn't really matter, does it? Um, not I'm saying it doesn't matter to you. It, it matters a lot to you. I mean, it doesn't really matter what other people think about you. If you're happy, that is all that matters. And that's the important thing here. So as I said before, if I haven't responded to any emails, send me another one. Um, the email name, uh, email names, the emails addresses are the same. It's just that all the emails got wiped out. Um, frustrating, but I suppose one of the positive things is it's deleted a lot of old messages that were in there because I had nearly three thousand emails that were. Because I've got, oh, I'll have a look at that later. And sometimes they've been in there five years. <laughs> all right, guys, take it easy. Enjoy the weekend. Great going by a birthday present.